good morning so i'm going to speak on hydrogen sulfide as a biomarker in diabetic retinopathy a comparative analysis with vascular endothelial growth factor and systemic factors so uh, this is a research proposed, uh, proposal supported by indian council of medical research so background of the study hydrogen sulfide as you know it is a um, highly active gaseous transmitter along with carbon monoxide and nitric oxide and it has multi issued of uh, physiological role in mammalian tissue like neuromodulator antioxidant anti apoptotic anti inflammatory and vasoactive properties so endogenous uh, hydrogen sulfide is pro produced in mammalian tissues and uh, including retina by uh, complex uh, enzymatic reactions uh, different pathways so it is a bifunctional uh, role unlike other gaseous uh, uh, transmitters it has a protective role in physiological level whereas it has it is cytotoxic at the higher level so over production may lead to beta cell death in diabetes and may affect vascular endothelium and its distribution and role in retinal tissue is still controversial so we have such literature and uh, the multiple studies are there though there are very few in uh, human uh, uh, eyes and only uh, there is no any study comparing uh, bhj fluid h2s in different uh, severity of diabetic retinopathy so uh, objective of our study is to quantification of hydrogen sulfide level in serum aqueous and vitreous along with uh, vascular endothelial growth factor in uh, different severity of diabetic retinopathy like npdr of uh, different severity and mild moderate and severe npdr and also to correlate it with uh, age range normal population and to correlate with other systemic factors like blood sugar and other relevant systemic factors so uh, coming to methodology we collected treatment in patients of diabetic retinopathy without systemic complications and scheduled for anti phage injections with prior informed consent uh, and non diabetic patients scheduled for macular hole surgery ear removal and planned sfi were uh, considered for control group and systemic conditions uh, like blood sugar uh, hemoglobin percentage lipid profile renal function test blood pressure and bmi were uh, assessed and were standardized to comparable level we excluded patients with uncontrolled hypertension using hyperlipidemic drugs oral uh, anti coagulants contraceptives uh, everyday smokers renal failure and uh, cases using acei and patients undergoing uh, uh, prp so these are the different clearance uh, ethics committee research committee and biosafety committee uh, uh, clearance for the study and these are the consent uh, uh, from standard consent form of patients so we collected uh, 150 patients out of this 50 was npdr 50 pdr and 50 control groups out of the npdr 16 were mild 20 were moderate and 14 severe npdr so sample collection was done by um, aqueous humor was collected by 30 gauze tuberculin series uh, and by ac tape and vitreous sample was collected by a single port 27 gauze cutter during in intravital injections and serum was extracted as per uh, standard laboratory procedure from whole blood so HTS analysis was done uh, on the day of collection within four hours by spectrophotometry and bgf analysis was done by elisa test so uh, statistical analysis was done using standard uh, statistical test and p-value less than 0 0.05 was considered statistically significant. So coming to results, so these are descriptive statistics of patient parameters like age, BMI, hemoglobin, serum creatinine, cholesterol, TGL, uh, lipid profile and um, blood sugar. So there is not much variation in the group. And this is H2S uh, uh, and BGF uh, level in the, the different groups like vitreous. We can we uh, recorded H2S from 55 to 64. It was it was 53 per six, to 63 in different severity of diabetic retinopathy. And serum it was 54 to 61. And BGF it was 165 in control to uh, 819 in PDR group. And serum it was 154 to 321 uh, depending upon the severity of diabetic retinopathy. So these are the uh, box plots and bar diagrams showing corresponding levels of uh, the uh, uh, H2S and VEGF. So this is a comp uh, comparison of the main H2S and VEGF shows that uh, there is a significant variation in the H2S uh, level in con control versus CBN and PDR and control versus PDR, uh, whereas vitreous uh, uh, and serum VEGF shows variation in all the groups. And this is the correlation of uh, H2S and BGF level uh, uh, with other systemic parameters. We, uh, we could uh, see only uh, strong correlation uh, between uh, blood sugar level uh, with different grades of uh, uh, severity of diabetic retinopathy and very weak correlation with uh, cholesterol and lipid profile uh, in the control group. So coming, uh, coming to discuss, experimental evidence shows H2S overproduction as a causative factor in pathogenesis of beta cell death in diabetes. Evidence supports the role of H2S in the pathogenesis of diabetic endothelial dysfunction, diabetic retinopathy, and cardiomyopathy. 
contradictory evidence exists on association of H2S and retinal neovascularization while some studies support that it has certain protective role on the retinal vascularization. So, uh, certain studies show it is a, a harmful effect on the retinal neovascularization in diabetic retinopathy. So we observed higher concentration of H2S in intraocular environment as well as serum in patients with diabetic retinopathy that was found to be comparable with VGF and blood glucose level in varying severity of diabetic retinopathy. There is weak correlation uh, observed in control group with VGF and cholesterol in all samples uh, and with, with H2S level in vitreous sample only. No significant correlation was observed in any of the groups. So contrary to existing literature in this study, we quantified the and compared H2S level in ocular and systemic environment in PDR and PDR and non-diabetic control population with corresponding levels of BGF, status of blood sugar and other systemic parameters. So coming to conclusion, current study aids some insight about the complex pathological process of diabetic retinopathy and role of H2S as an independent biomarker in the process, which may form some basis of further uh, study. There is scope of research to explore significant H2S in complications related to diabetic retinopathy, which may help to find newer treatment modalities for management of this potentially binding condition. Thank you. So, These are my references. <coughs> Did you have a control group? Yes, sir. 50 were control group. No, what was the control group like? I mean, control group were non diabetic people uh, who underwent vitrectomy for macular hole, hyperretinal membrane, and SFIL. These were non diabetic people. No, but why not have a control group of diabetics without any clinical evidence of, I mean, uh, diabetic retinopathy? You so, think that will that yeah. may also show some changes, basically? So I divided diabetic patients from mild to severe, but uh, too many groups <laughs> will create more confusion and still you know, like. No, what I'm trying to say is, I don't know, I'm not a great researcher. Yeah. But then if you want to really try and see whether hydrogen sulfide has got a very, uh, I mean, a role, I mean, it may be better to have a control group also of eyes with diabetes with no underlying retinopathy at all yeah and probably for that you will have to do a fluorescein angiography also because mild microneurisms and miss. Uh, yeah one thing more he is telling already undergone vitrectomy so how you can take vitreous step also everything no, changes no, no? so we, we took vitreous step before going for vitrectomy Hey, you told that and in diabetic already di undergone macular hole surgery or other vitrectomy those are where we start before starting surgery we took that step and in also other diabetic patients, we took that tab before going for intravitreal injections. And uh, actually, my, my purpose was to just uh, study the level of H2S in Indian population, basically, and whether it, it does, uh, does it correlate with VGF level. Because studies are showing VGF level in different category of diabetic retinopathy, but there is no study showing H2S level in diabetic, different severity of diabetic retinopathy. Okay. You correlate it with the blood H2S levels? Yes. Serum H2S, serum H2S and VGF were calculated in all the patients. But equals on, we equal, uh, in equals only we did the H2S and VGF. Uh, VGF was not calculated in equals because the sample was not sufficient. So can it be implicated that H2S is the one which is causing uh, from this? I don't think so. So both have differed to different pathways actually. Uh, uh, that modulates the vascular uh, proliferation and uh, endothelial function. So H2S has a different pathway by, and uh, VGF has a different pathway and that both, are, both modulates the vascular endothelial function. So who is, whether they have strong correlation? No, what, well, I mean, basically what he's trying to ask is whether it would be worthwhile also to look into the VEGF levels simultaneously along with the HD, I mean, hydrogen sulfide levels, I mean. Yeah, we, in the same patient, you, you we have gone analyzed H2S yeah. and VGF in all yeah. the cases. Yeah. Only the PDR group shows a very high spike of VGF in serum, and but in H2S group we see some controlled uh, comparable level rise. Otherwise, uh, uh, all the groups have a more or less comparable rise in the H2S versus VGF. So serum, which is which is responsible? We don't know. Which one is how they are working, it is difficult to comment. But because some studies are showing that H2 has, in initial stage, H2 has a uh, protective role on retinal vascularization, whether some studies are showing H2 has a uh, harmful effect on the retinal vascularization, which uh, but helps I in still proliferation. Feel, uh, doctor, you should include, uh, I feel you should include eyes without diabetic retinopathy also. I feel so in you. I mean, this is an ongoing pro project. No, it is it? already complete. Al already complete. So, these analyses are very expensive. <laughs> Every kit costs around 35,000 rupees. Right, sure. Yeah. So, we. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.